Hi guys, so today I'm doing my November wrap up and my December TBR video and uh, I kind of failed reading in the month of November. I only read one and sort of like one and a half, one and three fourths books. I kept saying that I read only like didn't even read a whole book last month, but I actually did, I remember. So we're just going to get started on what I read last month. The first book that I read last month, the f like the full book, was Wider Than Snow by Matthew Eldridge. And I have a book review up for this. If you want to go check it out, I will link in the description. It was just my last video. So you should go check it out and read this book. Um, it was really good. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Last month I also read Half of Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. I was rereading this before the movie. And I read everything maybe a little bit more than what was in uh, part 1. So I'm on page 274, which is a little more than halfway done. And, um... Yeah, I just did never finish it, so wait until next year, part two coming out, to read the second half. I'm not really sure. So I read half of that, didn't finish it, and then... So my plan was to read Order of the Phoenix in November, and then read The Half-Blood Prince and the Deathly Hallows in December. Um, but I didn't finish the Order of the Phoenix. I started it, and I read 64 pages. Um before I just stopped. <laughs> I feel like if you haven't been watching my videos for a while you may not know this but I've been sort of in this huge reading slump ever since the summer booktubeathon in July and I just haven't felt like reading. I read like one or two in there that were really enjoyable but I just didn't feel like reading because and I realize now that it's because I was forcing myself to read books that I really wasn't in the mood for and whenever I would read a book that I was in the mood for then I would just like love it and be like I love reading so much but I am really not in the mood for Harry Potter right now I'm sorry I love it but I'm not in the mood it doesn't sound good right now and I wasn't enjoying it so the other day I was looking at my bookshelves and I was like I just want to do an impulse read and read whatever I feel like reading and so I saw this and I was like you know what I think I'm gonna do that because uh, the third book just came out and I was asking for it for Christmas and I was like, this will make me more excited if I do get it for Christmas because I'll, like, need it. So this is my December TBR now. I'm reading The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, and I'm so excited to be reading this finally because I've heard people talking about this for so long. And I started it last night, and it is so good so far! I'm only uh, 58 pages in on chapter 5. But it feels like I've read a whole book. Like, I just, I love the main character. I love this whole story. I just adore it. The writing style is amazing, and I'm enjoying it so much. And, like, I just want to read and read and read. But I probably won't, because it's the Christmas season, and I also want to do Christmas stuff so that I don't, like, it doesn't go by like that, and then I have to wait a whole year again. So, I am going to try to finish this one and never fade this month. Maybe in the afterlight, too. If I even get it for Christmas, I mean, I might not. But if I don't, I'm sure I can buy it with some Christmas money. So I, again, I'm really, really enjoying The Darkest Mind so far. It's incredible. I really recommend it, and I'm barely into it, but it's just so good. And I'm really happy I still have so much more to read because I have, like, over 400 pages left in this one. And then I have this one, which is pretty big. And In the Afterlight is even bigger than this one. So I'm just really happy that I still have so much more to read in this series. Um, I'm really excited to meet all the new characters. Like, I don't know, I think Liam and Chubbs are the only ones I know about, but anyway. I'm really excited to join this fandom. Um, but that's pretty much it for my wrap-up of my TBR. So I'm probably going to go read, and yeah, that's, that's my night. <laughs> so... I hope I'm able to finish everything that I'm planning on for this month. And, you know, now that I'm reading something that I really am in the mood for, I'm really enjoying it, and I just need to stop forcing myself to read things if I'm not in the mood for it and just read whatever I feel like reading. So, yeah, anyway. Um, I do have a question for you guys. People have been asking me to do a bookshelf tour for months, and I've just been like, oh, wait, 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 wait. And... Um, the last time I did a bookshelf tour was like right after I started my channel and I had one bookshelf and there weren't a lot of books on it. Well, there actually there kind of were, but I have so many more books now and now I have two bookshelves. It's just changed a lot. It's been, I think, over a year, so I really need to do an updated one. And I am. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do one 
probably it'll be up around like beginning of next year. I'm excited. I'm going, I was going to wait until I got books, like all my Christmas books and everything. And then I could just, but then my birthday's in March. But I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm just going to do it at the end of this year. And I'm so excited. But I have two questions. Actually, they're kind of related. So you guys need to answer this in the comments so that I know what to do with my video. Um, I'm trying to decide whether to make it all in one video and um, just like say each title of each book and the author and then move on to the next one and just go really fast and do both bookshelves in one video and just it'll probably be kind of long like maybe 15 minutes or should I do like two 10 minute videos or maybe two 15 minute videos I don't know where I say the name of the book and the author and then whether I've read it or not or if I love it or I mean it wouldn't be super long just like you know I haven't read this yet or I'm I've read these ones in this series, but not this one, and I've read this, and you know. So just let me know if you want it to be like a quick, maybe like 20 minutes, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, just kind of a one video where I just go fast, or two videos where I can go a tiny bit more in depth. So please, please, please let me know so that I can get started on that, and I'm really excited to do this because it's been so long, and I finally get to go in depth to my bookshelves. Yay! So, yeah, please answer that question in the comments below. Also, tell me what you read in November, what you're planning on reading in December. I think that the Booktubeathon is going to be this month, and that'll be really encouraging to read a lot faster. I'm not going to, like, if there are any challenges, I'm not going to do them. I'm just going to read whatever I am currently reading and try and do it faster. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited, and so... Lots of excitement for so many things. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Again, comment all of those things. I would really appreciate it. And what was your favorite book that you read in November? Please tell me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Bye!